Hi vlog. It has been a while. I think actually the last time I saw you guys, I was in Tuscany, Italy. Um, I'm now in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I spent the summer in Wisconsin, back at home, and I've just kind of been MIA. Um, some of you watching might be thinking I have no idea who the fuck you are and why would I care where you've been. Um, but some of you who care, like my grandma who watches my videos, um, I'm just gonna do a quick, like, basically where I've been. It is 9.30, on a Friday night, I got done with work. Um, I'm looking ratchet, but we're gonna get into it. So first off, let's backtrack to the end of last semester, um, spring semester. I was finishing up junior year at the University of the Arts, dance major, and all of a sudden I was having panic attacks every single day. I mean, there was a day where I had a panic attack for 12 hours and it just felt like constant like I was gonna have a heart attack and it was just constant anxiety um at work at, like I couldn't just lay in bed and relax without being on edge and having like just major anxiety so going to class was kind of helpful because dancing just makes me feel free and makes me get out of my head so it was nice but also um it was hard because I had to like talk myself to go into class even though I was with professors and people I loved dancing with and I loved my school. It just was like I was in such a slump mentally and I think it was just because I was finishing junior year and then uh, senior year was approaching. I was headed to Italy and I just, I was working a decent amount. Um, I feel like I just had a lot on my plate and I had performances and I was doing nails and I wanted to upkeep with my friendships and my relationships. So. Ooh, talking about it is like giving me anxiety <laughs> but anyways so I just kind of was rough and then before I left for Italy I went home quick because I was like baby I just need a week at home with my family I haven't seen them since Christmas um maybe that's my issue maybe I just need to see George and things will get better wrong <laughs> um I felt like I was at home and I went and saw a doctor and she put me on a medication called Wellbutrin um, and I was just excited to hopefully take a good step forward in my mental health. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so I started my Wellbutrin. Um, I was home for the week, had the anxiety still happening, but you know, medication takes a while to kick in. So, you know, and then I went to Italy and Italy was good. Um, Italy itself was good, the people I was with were good, the food was good, classes were good, <sighs> until I was in Rome. And at this point also my anxiety was still kind of, it was not good. It really wasn't getting better. Um, I felt like I wasn't having any panic attacks like for 12 hours a day because I was with friends and I was had so much happening, but I was still having multiple panic attacks per day and I just, <sighs> sorry, make sure it's so important. And I just felt not myself from how I have been before. Um, but then we were in Rome and we were at a club. I talked about it a little bit, but my friends and I and just like like the people I was with on the trip, um, we were in Rome and we were having a blast in the club. And I'm not a partier, I'm not a drinker, and I genuinely had the best time like ever. Um, but this club was down in like a basement, like it was under, not basement, but it was like underground. So. We just, none of us had any service down there. And we were there for like two hours, I would say, no service from anybody. And we were just dancing and singing and having a blast. And we come up and we all get a notification um, that our school closed, that the University of the Arts was shutting down. And instantly we all just like got to our knees and started crying and calling people because one, we just didn't believe it. Cause for us, it was like 2 a.m. Back here and with the US, it was probably only like 7 p.m. Um, so we're just kind of all losing our minds and we're not really understanding everything because especially my friends and I, we were rising seniors. So it's kind of like we were so close. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people cannot say that they love where they go to school and their all of their professors and the people they see every day. I'm getting chills. But, um, like I might cry, <laughs> but 
I could genuinely say that I was in love with my school. I was happy to go to class. I never wanted like summer break to come. Like I just genuinely loved all my professors and I loved the people I was dancing with and the community I was with and the people I was performing with and seeing on Broad Street. And I just, going to school genuinely, me, genuinely made me just so happy. And so the fact that that kind of got pulled from under my feet just kind of really made a huge impact on my life and I would say it still is. I definitely entered like a depression and honestly I don't want to say I'm out of it because um, I walk on Broad Street and I just am so upset still just seeing the buildings. Um, the university was the first art school ever and it was built 150 years ago and the reason it shut down was because of a huge money steal from our like people like the president and stuff. Um, so the fact that it was just like i know at the end of the day it's a business um but it really sucks because the arts are already suffering so to pull something like that is just crazy um so anyways and it's anyways i was in italy and it's kind of like what are you supposed to do about college when you're so far away already on a school trip and um so it was kind of like when i get back i'll figure it out and then our dean of dance, who's amazing, Donna Faye, was able to find a college in Vermont called Bennington, which one of my professors, Paul Madison, had graduated, I think, his MFA from there, something like that. And um, Bennington took the dance department over, took the USCS department in. Um, only thing is, it's in Vermont. And I love my professors, and I wanted to continue dancing with my community, but I was not prepared to get rid of my lease and my job and my life in Philly because I def like I consider Philly home and I just really wasn't ready to give that up especially in such a short amount of time also <clears throat> I really like nature so Vermont I don't think would have been the vibe um but anyway so that just kind of got not as an option um there are some Philly schools in Philly um not best known for their dance program. And then I applied for some places in New Jersey, New York that I had looked at before going to UWARDS and it just didn't really fit in my life or plan. Um, so it was just kind of awful, especially since I didn't want to find a different university. I did not want to find a new um, place in my heart for a new university. Um, I have a plan now. I'm going to Drexel University part-time to get my credits and then hopefully next year, um, Bennington will have a satellite in Philadelphia and I hope to attend that if that's the case otherwise I'm going to go to Vermont because I want my degree um, and I want to get my master's but I need my bachelor's before that obviously and I've worked so hard um, that was really my issue is that I was working I worked so hard to get to this university and I worked my butt off and I left my small town in Wisconsin which is a rare thing that happens um, and I just felt like, and I worked so hard in college that it just, why did I have to settle? Why did I have to try and make a decision to settle on my education? I just felt like, I don't know, maybe that's my ego getting in the way, but I just felt like that wasn't fair to myself because I put my all in my art and in my, you know, dance is art, but I put my all into that. And then education, I work very hard. I never miss an assignment or anything or a project. So I just, I really commit and have goals. And I just felt like I shouldn't have to settle on that because some higher business douchebags decided to take my university away. So um, I get home from Italy. I am still not doing great, so I go to see my doctor and she raises my Balbutrin from 150 to 300 milligrams. Um, like two weeks go by and I'm losing my mind. When I tell you I'm breaking down having a panic attack all day, I'm constantly worried. My mind is just having racing thoughts. Like I just, I simply could not function. And it was to the point where everybody around me was very worried and concerned because I had never been that awful actually. Like at least showing it. Um, showing the anxiety to the world and I didn't want to just be like oh it's my medication because I didn't want to just like what if it wasn't what if I literally was losing my mind um, so it actually came to the point where like I went to the ER and I was just like nothing's wrong with me I'm just like going fucking crazy like I don't know what to do 
Um, and basically I talked to a new nurse and she recommended different medication for me called Zoloft. Um, that's what I'm on now and I'm feeling much better. The Wellbutrin was definitely the issue. I was losing my mind, guys. <sighs> Anyways, I finished the summer. Um, honestly, real rocky. I was crabby all the time, fighting with my parents because they just wanted a solution for me, but nothing was good enough because, like I said, I felt like I shouldn't have to settle on my education that I work and dedicate um, my life to at the moment. And I just what happened was so unfair like i said i don't think a lot of people can say that they loved their university and going to college and i truly did um most people i graduated high school with dropped out of college which is fine it's not for everybody but i simply was not ready to graduate because i loved my university i loved my classmates and my friends and i loved seeing my teachers and i loved the person they brought out of me a <laughs> freshman I could cry. A freshman me could see me now, she would be shook because the shell that my professors pulled me out of is crazy. I definitely was just such an introvert in dance and I didn't want to be judged and I didn't want to open myself to the space because I felt like I wasn't good enough and my professors were able to take that out of me and I felt like I just am like a better person because of moving to Philly and coming to the school and meeting my professors and meeting my classmates and my friends and like I they truly shaped me into the young adult I am because it's just it's family to me it's a community it's a safe space that I my studio at home was great I did have that community but it just felt like everything was going so great so I guess that's why something had to happen <laughs> but anyways I'm back in Philly now um, I don't even know the date, Friday the 20th, I think, and I don't know how long this is, but I started school at Drex on Monday, and I'm just kind of playing it by ear, and I've been working, and I'll give an apartment tour eventually, <laughs> um, but anyways, that's where I've been, thanks for watching, bye guys.